Hello guys, in this lecture, I'm going to be showing you how to add Google reCAPTCHA to our login system. If you have never heard of the word reCAPTCHA before, you can do a simple Google search. So reCAPTCHA Google, and then click on the very first link here. So this is just a mechanism to add an extra layer of security to our website, especially if we do allow users to register and to log into our applications because this process can actually be done by a robot in order to ensure that it is actually humans who are filling out our registration form we then need to add an extra layer of security and google provides us this very wonderful api called the recapture which i'm going to be showing you how to integrate into our existing login system you can actually read more about it on this page. It's very simple. So the very first thing that we want to do is to click on the button that says get recapture. And then we are going to actually create an app. So ensure that you are logged into your Google account and then just give this a name. So I'm going to call this Auth, and then I'm going to select the very first option here, recapture V2 validate users with the I am not a robot checkbox. So select this and then here we have options to actually provide the domains on which we are going to be using this particular Google service. So I'm going to provide my local domain. So that will be auth.local. You can provide more than one. So if I take this out, you can see that you can actually provide more than one. Just put them on different lines. Paste this here and then I accept. And after that, we need to click on the register button. So when we click on the register button, they're going to give us an API key and a secret. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down here and I'm going to actually copy this into our test editor and then actually create an entry inside of app.php where we're going to be saving the credentials. So let's get over again to the test editor. So I'm going to grab the key, then open the test editor. So inside of config folder, app.php, I want to add a new key here. This is going to be equal to an array. Then I'm going to say the first one should be the key, should be equal to the test that I just copied. And then the second one should be the secret. Then I'm going to quickly grab that. Then right here, I'm going to paste it. So we want to name this recapture. That will be the first step. We save our credentials here. And then the next step will be to actually add some things to our edas.php file. So that will be the JavaScript. And then go back inside of edas.php and then at the bottom here, line 24, we just paste that in. And then finally, one more thing that we need to get from here will be the actual checkbox. So we're going to grab this. And if you notice here, this already contains our key. So we can actually use it like this, or we can reference the key that we saved inside of our app.php file a while ago. So I'm going to copy and just use this directly from here. So let's get back again. As for what I just copied, we need to add it to the form that we want to add the checkbox. So that will be login.php. So we actually want this to be available in login.php and also inside of register.php. So we add it at the very bottom of the form as I've just done here. And then take note that the key, as I mentioned before, corresponds to the key that we already saved inside of app.php. So if we don't want to put it here like this, we can also reference the key inside of app.php, but I think it's just okay to leave it like this. And then right now, let's try to view the login form on the browser. Here you can see that we have the, I am not a robot checkbox. So when you check that, Okay, so everything seems to be okay. The next part now is for us to actually validate the capture. 